stop by Foot Locker to see what they had in here. Anything new? More locations have the LeBron Album Pearl. This one is definitely a fire colorway. One of the top so far. Let me know what your favorite colorway of the LeBron 21 is. They still have pairs of the Zombie by one still retail for 130. We do have a review on the channel of the new jaw one, which is that Chinese New Year dropping in January 2024. Go ahead and check out that review too. Let me know what you guys think about that. And comment your favorite colorway of the jaw Morant so far. They actually have a few colorways of jaws here. All of these are pretty solid. They have both the black and white colorway of the Crazy 8, but both of them are still for retail at 140. Hopefully that changes soon here too. Not surprised by the selection of retros here. Fours, Royal Toe reimagines the Fear 3s. Look at this. They got the new penny. This one here is actually not bad. Got the animal print, got the leather on the upper as well. Upper all around here. Definitely a fire colorway retail for 190 bucks. These will be marked down at some point and you definitely will find these at the outlet. So be a little patient if you don't have to have these, but this is definitely a fire colorway for the Air Max Penny 1. I'll still have pairs of these, the Jordan 6 aqua colorway definitely one of the best so far not many locations have the mbo3 slide 50 bucks in the retail for these or let me know if this is something that's appealing to you not from here right there on the toe box now a lot of these have been reselling like crazy this blue colorway is not bad on this ug 99 dollars on the retail let me know what you guys think about these uggs and what do you think about this colorway Gore-Tex Jordan 6s, Jordan 11 Neapolitans. They also have these, these reverse Laney's on sale for $139 as well. Pretty good selection of retros when it comes to the women's sneakers. Satin Golden Rod as well. Triple Black Presto for $69. Bucks. Fire, Fire Polar Bloom Nike Dunk Twist. Yet another colorway of the Jordan MVP on the women's side. The quality definitely looks good. That leather looks on point. Got that University Blue. Let me know what you guys think about this colorway of the MVP. Some of y'all out there actually feel these shoes and some people actually hate them. Let me know if you guys like these or are they trash to you. I don't see many locations with this green, the green toe Irison. On the gray school side, 100 on the retail. Got that, um, what's that like, forest green? What do you think about this color combination? And they still have pairs in gray school. Don't see any men's pair at this location, so maybe they sold all of them which is a good thing. It's good to see people get, get them who really want them, you know what I mean? The grade school side, they have these down to 79 bucks now, normally 160. So that's good to see these marked down for the grade school. So we just left Foot Locker, had a few things there and some retros. I'm actually here to grab a shoe, but not something that you're used to seeing. So stay tuned for that and I'm gonna pick it up in a second, but let's go check out Finish Line real quick. So now I'm outside of Finish Line, the sister company, JD Sports, and we can see in the window there is a Jordan 11 Gratitude there, so maybe they got more men's sizes. And uh, let's see what other shoes are on sale. Jordan 11s, Playoff 8s. So in the window, they have the Gratitudes. Here they do have Neapolitans, the 4s and the 1s. Absolutely. Four hours still available here at this location. They do have more men's sizes available, which is dope because most places we've been going to been only having selective sizes. They have a good amount left. This is the size eight in hand though. Nothing new to us. 150 as opposed to 180 on these. They still have the uh, Royal Tory Imagines. I'm gonna show them as much as I see them in the store until we get that red tag on them. Still full retail though. See these are the outlets like crazy. So, you know, you can choose. You can be selective on this. You guys like either one of these more than the other. These mids go right in line with those uh, Royal Toe Reimagines, man. Not too bad. Just wish they had better leather quality on these. Let me know what you guys think about these. 125 on the retail. These definitely must be a return because I don't see... I don't know if they have many sizes left. What do you guys think about the red Oreo? Did you guys pick these up? Still for retail of 200 bucks. Maybe they should be marked down as well. But also a dope colorway. It's interesting, man. Some locations have these on sale and some don't. 160 on the retail for these. The Chamray Jordan 7s. These are at the outlets, too, for like 159 kind of the same price point. When we were at uh, Citadel, they had them for 159 but there was no 30% off. It was just lowered, which is pretty much the same price as this. Uh, let me know if you guys like the Chamrays or the Carmines behind it for 170 They both should be 160 I don't understand what's the reasoning behind that, but... Uh, both shoes are clean. Classic, classic Jordan 7, the Cardinals, man. Drop down in price slightly, 170 on the retail. 
They still have some of these wheats available. Been seeing these at a few locations too. Definitely a classic shoe. Also a nice colorway on this, the wheat colorway for the uh, Jordan 13s. And they still got men's pairs of cherries, which most stores don't have men's step sizes left. Still full retail of 210. Definitely a fire classic shoe. Some of the budget sneakers, all of them seem to have red tags on them, which is a good thing. Let me know if there's anything here that you guys would add to your collection. So Foot Locker didn't have them, but uh, Finish Line got them here for 65 bucks or 75 bucks. Normal retail on here is 160. Downstairs they were 140. Very interesting on all the pricing. 150 as opposed to 185 on the IE 11 lows. Let me know what you guys think about these. This colorway and a few other ones are down to 75 bucks on the Jordan Stadium 90. Let me know if you guys are a fan of this silhouette. I think there are some nice colorways and this reminds me of a few shoes out there. Kind of like this color combination. It's on the gray school side though. Not a bad color combination on the Air Max 90s. It's Air Max 97 marked down to 105 like we saw at JD Sports in Glendale, which is definitely dope to see. You got some coupons, you can get those for under 100 bucks, and they also got these down to $100 now as well. We have 11s here in grade school as well, amongst some of these other releases. Air Max Plus 3, down to 100 from 185. Definitely a clean colorway on this shoe. I feel like this is a new colorway on this uh, Air Max 90s. Very dope. 130 on the retail. What do you guys think about these Air Max ones? This burgundy black and gray colorway is definitely fire. Of course, you got the white on there too. Solid ass colorway right here. So we're here at Shoe Palace in the mall too really quick. I looked around the store to see what's up because my time's fairly limited today. But uh, all the same stuff that we've seen, including these Jordan 11s in men's sizes. And you guys see the walls pretty loaded up over there too. Air Max 21 in the royal colorway. The best colorway still here. And they now have these... Um, the bronze, man, definitely clean, still for retail, 200 bucks. You just came out again, but I had to rock them, man. I still have mine in good, in good, you know, good condition, so I don't have to buy the new ones. Now we're at JD Sports Northridge. Let's see what's inside here. There's some of their markdowns here at JD Sports in the Northridge Mall. Some of the same shoes we've seen with some of the same markdowns. I'm seeing if there's anything new that we haven't seen. Okay, these were 70 bucks at a few locations or they were 80 bucks at a couple locations. Now down to 70 bucks as opposed to 190, man. That's actually a really good markdown right there. Still a full size run on these. Will these get to 50 bucks or even 39 bucks? We truly need these to drop down a little more. 135 is a discount, but we need them a little cheaper than that. Women's Vapor Max 23, normally 210 down to 100. Pretty good colorway. Not bad, definitely a good markdown. I feel like these were priced a little higher before. Now they're down to 100 bucks, which is good. One of the newest colorways of the Witness 8, down to 80 bucks. And they got those two other colorways we saw in the last video too, but every other colorway is either 70 or $80. Let me know what your favorite colorway is in the comments below. Definitely a solid selection of basketball shoes. John Morant, not a bad colorway. It's not something I'm into. They still have Fear 3s, wow. 11s everywhere, it's not like a fluke. It's not like only a couple places. It's like every location still has these 11s, man. Definitely a classic shoe, but uh, 225, people's chilling out right now. Then we got a new colorway on the Dunk Low. This one's not bad either. Materials seem a little better than before. 125 on the retail. You got the neutral gray cell and then the gray, got a gray suede Nike swoosh. Let me know what you guys think about these. It's like we haven't seen this colorway in a minute. They're bringing these Dunks back. Give me your thoughts on this red, red and burgundy colorway on the Air Force One. Retail is 135. Translucent also, or yeah, kind of a translucent also. Let me know what you think. The Royal Tool reimagines, or Royal reimagines, however you like to call them. Some people uh, a little iffy on that, but it is a Royal Toe. That's why I call them Royal Toe reimagines, but uh, some of you guys just say that the Royal reimagines. We got these, definitely seen these before. All white with the black accents on the Jordan 1 mid. Retail on these is 125. They got that same color combination on this Jordan low right here. 115 on the retail for these. She runs down to $75 as opposed to 140. So we got an unreleased John ja Morant. White and black with the gray accents. Got the scratch. Is this like a, a different variation of the John ja Morant scratch colorway that dropped before? What the hell? Oh, that's wrong. Originally $90 for $100. Y'all see that? 
I wonder if I make a fuss, would they have to honor this? Not a bad colorway on these. Let me know what you guys think about these in the comments below. A lot of dope new shoes over here, actually. But these John Morants are definitely important. Jordan 1 Mid. Let me know what you guys think about this color combination. White, black, and that ochre colorway. Definitely clean on these. Look at these right here. Black with the mesh. You got the suede or new buck upper. Suede upper. Retail of these is 120. Definitely clean right here. Let me know if you guys like these or not. Air Force One that's not out yet. This colorway is also pretty dope. What I mean by not out, it's not on the shelves yet. I guess they got to put all these shoes up. You got the Jaws. You got the Air Max Ones. You got the Dunks right there we just seen too. New colorway of the on running. A lot of, like a smorgasbord right here of shoes. Dunks. What are those down there? Adidas. I like this one. This Air Max 90 is a solid colorway. Navy blue, black. Color combination definitely on point for these. Let me know what you guys think about these for the grade school. Got that pink and purple. Not a bad colorway. This Air Max 90 is also pretty dope. Got like the sunset vibe in the air bubble and on the Nike swoosh. What do you guys think about these in the comments below? A lot of dope stuff here. I think my favorite thing might be these Jaw Ones though. These are definitely pretty dope. Give me your thoughts about these. We've seen those for men earlier. Now we got them in another colorway. I think there's some 3M on this swoosh, if I'm not mistaken. These Dunk Lows in stock as well. $90 on the retail for these. Yeah, 3M swoosh and back heel tab. Definitely talked about these before on Bosco 2.0. Translucent outsole. This colorway is also pretty dope too. Materials look definitely on point. I have yet to see this colorway on the Comfort, man. This is definitely not bad. 150 on the retail for these. On the women's side of things, let me know what you think about these. New color combination on the Jordan Low. Got that dark gray with the white and black. These are actually pretty dope. 115 on the retail. So we stopped by Dick's Sporting Goods really quick to see if there was any new additions to the lineup here. They do have those Sabrinas down there, which we talked about on my last trip. They did add one other shoe here, which is pretty unique. Of course, these are always dope, man. These LeBron next gens and this Laker colorway to me is just one of a kind. I think this colorway is really fire. Let me know if you guys agree with that. Got the gold accents on there too. And that, that Nike swoosh changes colors, definitely fire. But the shoe that's new here is uh, another TB rendition of the KD16 dominant white with the black accents on here. Not bad. Let me know if you guys are a fan of this colorway or the KD16s overall. Once again, another one of those basketball shoes that you have to go up at least a half a size. Still retail for 160. Give me your thoughts. Got some more colorways of basketball shoes that we've definitely seen before. And that Zoom Freak colorway is definitely one of the best so far. Just in case you didn't see my last video, this is the Sabrina one we talked about. Retail, 130. Let me know if you guys like this colorway. Not bad at all, man. Definitely a fire one. Ablon Pearl still here at some locations. Not all locations, though. No JD, no Dick Sporting Goods. Only certain foot lockers have this, man. So you got to get on it if you are into this shoe right here. Definitely fire, though. This location still has this Barkley. You don't see this in too many stores either. I thought they wouldn't sell out, but apparently they did. And only some stores have some sizes left. I don't even spot these at the outlet. Looks like we got a Chic about to open up here in the mall. I think that's one thing that this location was missing was a Chic shoes. Let's go ahead and see. I don't know when it's gonna open up, but they usually have really good shoes and clothes, hats and all that stuff. So let's see what's up with this Chic once it opens up. And you already know, once it does open, we're gonna definitely come and do a review in there and see what it's really talking about. Hopefully it's close to the location out there in Culver City, or maybe even the one downtown, but we just gotta wait and see. We got Adidas and JD Sports. We're gonna go inside JD Sports first and then check out and see what's in Adidas. Nike Dunk Low Twist down to 100 bucks. They got sizes six through nine available. Like a mint blue, not a bad color combination on these. This is the only store I've seen with this color combination on these uh, Comfort Lows. They got a few sizes left too, normally 130 down to 95 bucks. $75 for those lows like we saw at the last JD Sports. They got Neapolitans and they got the Saturn Bread still here. Pretty good selection of Jordans here. The Jordans here, selection is pretty much the same thing we've seen in every place. Overall, 150 is the going price for these Jordan highs. The Moab colorway, 
These Craft Jordan Mids down to 100 bucks from 135, sizes 8 through 12 available. Not many locations still has this Dunk Mid or Dunk Low right here. That's a pretty solid colorway, plus the Freddy Cougars. But they got Pandas, of course. Down to 180 from 110, sizes 10 through 13 available. One of the best colorways of the Vapor Max Plus. This one's still full retail. That's actually my favorite colorway so far. LeBron Next Gen's down to 85 from 160. 120 on this colorway. Not a bad one, man. The gray with the gold accents is definitely fire. So we find another Barkley colorway. A lot of places don't still have these. I guess they got a pretty good size run left. Classic broke brown colorway. Bork brown. This one's also dope too. Let me know if you guys like these or not. Job one hunger colorway. Definitely a solid colorway. Let me know if you guys like these and what's your favorite colorway of the Jaw one so far. Nothing really here that we haven't seen in any other other JD Sports recently. So, you know, if you see something, go ahead and pause the video, but check out one of my other videos where we went over all these shoes right here. Good material on these Asics right here. They got them in a few colorways. Still for retail of 130 bucks. Let me know what you guys think about these. This 2002 R is solid. Black with the suede. You got the mesh and some leather on there. I think there's 3M on here too. Oh no, no 3M, I thought there was. Still a dope shoe though. For grade school, they got them on sale for 125. Jordan 6 lows down to 75 bucks from 160. Got a pretty good size run left of these. It's not a bad colorway for the Jordan 6 low. Got the Wolf Grays for 90. It's that dunk low with the 3M on the swoosh and back heel tab. Translucent outsole on these two. Got a few other dunks over here for the grade school. I don't know how many sizes they have left, but they do have a bigger size here. This is definitely size, in these, size 11 in hand. Let me know if you guys are picking these up. On the women's side, now this one right here is actually a dope sweater. Normally 175 down to 125. Material's nice. I feel like we can find those at Ross at some point too. And then we got the puffer jacket, so to speak. Normally 140 down to 95 bucks. Black colorway. Pretty good selection here for the women when it comes to the apparel. In general, a lot of markdowns on Nike products here. So if you guys are still doing Christmas shopping, they got you covered here at the Culver City JD Sports. Like I said, it just opened maybe like two, three months ago. But when it comes to some of the hot releases, you gotta get here early because Yeah, so cooking's still alive and well. So if you guys uh, want to find something that's here, you got to get here a little earlier in the day just to make sure you guys can catch what's dropping. Now let's go ahead and check out Chic Shoes. Now let's go ahead and check out Chic Shoes and see what they got in there. As soon as you walk in, you find a lot of Jordans for grade school. Some shoes you might not have even seen in a long time. Solid Jordan selection here, but nothing we haven't really seen. I don't want to waste your time on that, but they do have a good selection here. 2s, 13s, the 1s, 6s, and they still have some of them out of 4s. Bunch of Jordan mids and some good colorways that we've seen. And even some comforts over there too. Jordan 1 Low OG. This is actually a new Jordan 1 Low I haven't seen, I don't think. I don't think we've seen this colorway. Materials on here, definitely on point. Only 120, so it's not like a 135-er. Let me know what you guys think about this colorway. Got that, uh, that suede over there. The leather looks pretty good. Looks like some pretty good quality on this one. Give me your thoughts about these. I like them. 120. I've seen most of these other ones. Satin breads everywhere. Then we got this new style for the women. I believe these are for women only, but maybe not. Definitely different. 154 on the retail for these. Let me know if this is something that you guys are interested in right here. Kind of like them, but kind of don't. Leather quality looks pretty decent on this as well. Let me know what you're thinking. Seen all of these before. The black with the white swoosh. Pretty clean on those as well. And then down here, we got some Jordan 2 Lows. This is still the best colorway for the Jordan 2 Low in 2023, in my opinion. Let me know which Jordan 2 or Jordan 2 Low you guys like the most. Marked down to 139 so $10 off the retail price. And we got both of them Jordan 2s here also. This indeed is another one of them Fire Gore-Tex colorways. They still have them here. Pretty good size run left. 
A lot of these ones we've seen also Jordan Mids, Jordan Comforts as well. They definitely got you covered with a variety of style of Jordans and colorways, and these ones are definitely solid. You can take 20% off of these as well. We got Lucas, Jordan MVPs. A lot of good things here, man. Good selection here of different Jordans, of course. These Jordan Christmas themed sweaters are also pretty fire. $78 a piece on these. All three of these are definitely dope. Perfect for the time that we're in. I like these two a little bit more than this one, but they're all nice. This remains to be the only, so only place that I've seen these Zoom Freak 5s. Maybe their grade school, and then even the ha-ha-has, which we talked about plenty of times. Still the only place I've seen with those, which is actually not bad, man. 20% off the already reduced price. Don't believe I've seen these before. Color combinations, pretty decent. Like the materials, of course, same thing as all the dunks. 130 on the retail. Let me know what you guys think about this colorway. This Air Max 95 is on point. This color combination is fire. Retail, oh, they're down to 119 from 175. Actually, it's still. Nike KD16, bad. Not a bad colorway for this KD16. Still have the translucent outsole. Very solid colorway. And then we got these jaws for 120. Not quite sure what the actual release date of these are, but it's definitely a clean colorway right here and still full retail. You know, play off that scratch on the outsole. Everything else is pretty basic, but I do like the colorway. And these designs here make me think that, that this is not a TB colorway, even though it could very well be a TB colorway. Does not say it on the title either, just white, black, and white. Like I said, still full retail at 120. Don't recall seeing this colorway on the Air Trainer. Air Trainer 1. Solid materials. You got the leather. You got the suede right there. Retail for 129. Definitely a solid colorway on this Air Trainer 1. All the other ones we have seen before in previous locations, but a very solid selection of Air Max Trainer 1s, even those right there. I'm not sure about this one. I don't think we've seen this one either. This colorway is definitely pretty solid. Give me your thoughts and opinion on these. Definitely fire. Rate these from a 1 to 10, 130 on the reach. I still got these here. They're marked down to 139. But like I've been showing, or if you guys don't know about my other channel, Bobby Thrift, I just found these for, what, 50 bucks? Finally, Reebok, these classic Shaq shoes right here. Definitely a dope colorway. 60 bucks on the retail for them. Let me know if this is something worth scooping up or not. Let me know in the comments below. So they're definitely popping up at Burlington for a fraction of the price, which is always good. But these are definitely fire. They still got some pairs of the Kylan LeBron 21. We definitely did a full review on this channel. Let me know what you guys think about these. And are you guys a fan of the LeBron 20s or 21s? Which one do you guys like more? Let me know in the comments below. And I've been to a few locations and nobody still has these besides this location. This store is the only one with this Air Max Trainer 1. Let me know if you guys are a fan of this. Let's go ahead and take a look inside Champ Sports. One thing I like about this location is they got the Jordans right here in front, man. And we got the Midnight Navy Jordan 3s. These are actually nice, bro. The leather quality looks good. I like the color combination, of course. Let me know what you guys think about these, man. Still full retail. It's either 200 bucks, not 210. No Nike Air on the back. Definitely a clean colorway, though. But look at this. We got the AE1. The Anthony Edwards basketball shoe finally has hit the shelves. And I want you guys to tell me what you guys think about these. Definitely a futuristic looking shoe. 120 on the retail. Can't go wrong with these at all. Rate these from a 1 to 10 in the comments below. Maybe we should talk about these and review them. Let me know if you guys like this colorway. I think they're they're kind of awkward. I'm not really a fan of them. But maybe they might feel good on feet. So let me know what you guys think about these Anthony Edward Adidas. You know, they're doing a big campaign for him. He's promoting them as he should. It is his first signature shoe. 
They look real futuristic. Kind of remind me of the Harden 7s or Harden 8s. The verdict's still out on those. I think I want to grab them and do a review to see how they actually fit and feel. But let me know if you guys are a fan of Anthony Edwards' first signature shoe. That sales rack, as soon as you walk in, $9.99 for these shirts, bro. All of these shirts right here, Nike, Adidas shirts, normally $35 down to $9.99. Right by the door, red, red. Does this red go with my shoes, red? No, slightly, kind of. Not really. I don't know. $9.99 for that, though. All these are the basic Nike shirts with the Nike swoosh logo on the uh, left pocket, which is clean. And a few different colorways, actually. Got some of the Basquiat shirts down to $9.99 also. Pretty dope situation here at the Shoe Palace. Got the Malcolm X tees here. Malcolm X tee for $9 too. $10 on that. I know these ain't $10. Normally $39, bucks, like a fake Louis Vuitton situation here. I know these ain't $10. Bucks. <laughs> Maybe they are, though. Pretty dope situation here for $10. So look at this. More locations got them. The jaw, one. These are definitely fire, though. 140 over here as well. I was also surprised to see that the Ja One Chinese New Year is available at a couple other stores, not just the one shoe palace I went to in Glendale, but the Panga Shoe Palace also had them on deck with a few sizes or a good amount of sizes available. So if you are looking for that shoe and you're in the valley, check out Shoe Palace in the Glendale Mall or Shoe Palace in the um, Topanga Mall. Not quite sure if Northridge has them. I will be there in the next day or two to see if they have them as well. But it's good to see that these shoes that don't drop you know, these shoes don't drop until January 22nd, but they're already in stores now at some locations. It's fire. Wasn't sure if that was the real price or just some locations have different retail price points. They got a couple of them on display. Did you guys pick these up? Let me know your thoughts about these. 69 bucks on the Zoom Freak 5. And they also have these fire penny twos that just came out. The Royal ones, man, these are definitely nice. Still full retail of 199 bucks, so $200 on the retail. Two fire penny releases right here. The Air Max Penny 1, Air Max Penny 2. Stadium greens are definitely underrated. I'm looking for these to go on sale, man. I might have to add these to the collection. Still full retail at 180 though. They do have these LeBrons on deck. I'm telling you, if you haven't put picked these up, these things are heavy as hell, bro. It's like a weight, like a five pound weight. This location also has some of the Jaw ones on sale for 69 bucks, normally 110. This colorway is not too bad. This is the duck and no smoke that they cleaned up with that patch right there. 69 bucks on these right now. Let me know if you guys like these Jaw ones and what's your favorite colorway. Air Max ones with the corduroy and these Jordan 3 off in the air. The two solid colorways for the women. Looks like we got a new colorway on the Air Max 90. What do you guys think about this colorway? Sale white with that dark green. 130 on the retail for these. the aftermath after all the resellers come they don't even throw their stuff in the trash they just leave it all out on the floor jd sports bath foot locker bags nike bags i wonder how many of those were john Morant's. starting off the video here at shoe palace in the glendale mall because they have some crazy things first of all you got two pair of the um jaw ones for 69 bucks then they got these 99 dollars already that is super super dope Stadium green, size eight and a half. I'm pretty sure they got more sizes left, but I'm not sure because this is also a cook spot. All the jaw ones, the CNYs are gone because this is indeed a cook spot. But these are definitely fire. Seeing for $99 is definitely something we ain't seen nowhere else. And then they got these on deck too, man. This LeBron is definitely one of the better ones out there on sale for 99 bucks and they do have sizes available for this. Not a hype shoe, so you have a chance to scoop these up if you're looking for them. Let me know what you guys think about these. Got this Comfort on sale for 99 bucks as well, too. Definitely a dope color. This little blue colorway. Normally, what, 175 down to 99 bucks on these. Have a few pair left of the Jordan 1 Low Varsity Red. Marked down to 99 bucks on that, too. That's super dope to see. Jordan 7 Chamrays. The lowest I've seen them. These are 139. Seen them before for 160. Now we got them for 140. Definitely a good find right here. These are still going for 140 as well. Seen these marked down for a minute, so good to see these also on sale. I believe last time we came, they didn't have these on deck, but now they got the Christmas Jordan 2 low. Let me know what you guys think about this color combination. 
Definitely a fire colorway, 149 in the retail. Inside JD Sports, see what they got on deck in here. Definitely not surprised by this site, but let's see what else is in here. Sneaker section is pretty much the same as we saw last time. None of the prices really changed, but they do have a solid selection here, as you guys can see. So what's the controversy with this? I'm hearing that the patent leather is a little cheaper. Some scratches right there. But I'm hearing you wear these once and these crack a lot more than they used to. Some people have been posting that in the Discord. Of course, we got the Midnight Navy 3 still here looking really good. But what's up with the plastic or the patent leather, man? That's unfortunate. If you guys have any examples, feel free to send them to my DM on Instagram or on YouTube. If you have any pictures, send them to my Discord so I can check them out. They still have pairs of the popular Nike Dunk Low, the Panda colorway. But these are popping up at Ross now. So buyer beware. Still got a full size run on this Air Max Penny 1 down to 105. You got some discounts, you can get it even cheaper than that. Really dope to see. Everything else is kind of the same price points we saw last time we were here. KD, 16s, 20 bucks, 120 actually. Still the same price point as what we've seen before. One of the best colorways, man. So let's go check out Nike Glendale. Good amount of people in here. Section on the wall over here is pretty decent. We got some retros, got some new dunk colorways, and we got these. Triple black Vomero 5s, can never go wrong with this one. Still full retail of 160 bucks. Let me know what you guys think about these. Very comfortable shoe. And this colorway is on point with 25% off on that. Triple black P6000, retail is 120, but you take 25% off of that too. So they got some sales here at this Nike, which is dope. I like, I see a lot of these shoes got 25% off on them. 150 with 25% off of these, definitely a clean colorway too. 115 for this dunk. Definitely giving off some Christmas fall vibes. Let me know if you guys are feeling these or not. Got the purple outsole. Not a bad color combination on this dunk. Something I talked about on Bosco 2.0. Sell midsole white base, that purple overlay with that little like yellow or orange, peach. 115 on these. What do you think about these? Now honestly, I feel like this is a site that we don't really see at all. You got the uh, Jordan Retro. Of course, the Royal Reimagine, 25% off the retail price point, though. You don't really see that here at this location, to be honest with you. Of course, they still have fours on deck, but these are not marked down. Almost every shoe, with only a select few, are not marked down with 25% off. Very, very dope to see. So they do have a return on the I'm on my year Jordan 5, as you guys can see. I'm not quite sure what size this is. It's pretty small, though. Definitely clean. I don't think it was been tried on. Somebody probably just couldn't get rid of it. Clean colorway, man. One of the best Jordan 5s of 2023. Let me know what you guys think about these in the comments below. And make sure you guys hit that like button. They got a few other retros here available on the return. Along with some dunks down here. 25% off with the metallic finish on the Panda colorway. A lot of shoes marked down 25% here. Which is dope because I mean at the outlet it's 30% off. So 25%, like 5% less. Taxes are a little different out here in Glendale. But uh, it's good to see these things on sale. A lot of shoes over here marked down as well. Vapor Max 23, 25% off on those. My favorite Air Max 97. The Corduroys, definitely fire. Full retail with 25% off the discount, 185. I like this colorway on this Cortez. 90 bucks for 25% off on that. You can't go wrong with that at all. My man here is trying on some heat right there, some dunks and dunk lows. Even retros, 25% off the uh, Moise. Normally, one, wait, current price is 125 and you take, oh, this is a Jordan 1 mid. Okay, that's why. I, I confused this with a four high, to be honest with you. Seeing a Jordan 11 Neapolitan. Normally 225, taking 25% off of that. That's super dope. They're trying to come with some outlet prices here at the actual Nike store. 25% off of these. Seen them at the outlet for 30% off. Still getting a deal here, actually in store. Definitely dope to see that. Now this Invincible Run 3, 180, take 25% off. This colorway stands out for sure for the ladies out there watching. Let me know if you guys like this colorway. This is definitely a comfortable shoe that you should try. 
almost 25% off on everything here. It's like a little tag almost on every shoe, retros included, which is always good. This colorway, definitely on point. One of the first colorways of this uh, Infinity React X Infinity Run 4. Definitely a clean colorway and a dope shoe as well. Stopping by Kids Foot Locker, we got a couple new colorways of the Trey Young 3, which I have yet to see. Let me know what you guys think about these. Not a bad silhouette. This colorway is pretty dope as well. Give me your thoughts. We got another colorway of the Trey Young 3. Also pretty unique. It's like a mint colorway. Let me know if you guys are liking these. The Trey Youngs are not too bad. This is by far his best silhouette to date. And this colorway is solid. Let's go see what's up in the finish line. Air Max selection, kind of the same with a couple new things here. So we got this blue gray colorway. Haven't seen this color combination on the Vapor Max Plus. Still full retail 210, but that upper is pretty clean. Let me know if you guys like this. Air Max 90, definitely a clean colorway right here. Got the red accents popping. Still full retail of 130. Yet another colorway of the Air Max, one that they're throwing out there. This color combination is pretty dope too, man. What do you think about these? Got the gum outsole for extra detail. Got this Air Max One, normally 160 down to 105. Got like a translucent panel around the ankle. What do you guys think about these? Suede, got some mesh, leather on the upper, triple material. Got like a drawstring lace-up situation. Not a bad colorway. Haven't seen these before, 105 on the retail. They do still have both Jordan 7s marked down. Cardinals at 170, Cham Rays at 160. So they still had the retros there on sale as well as these. These cement gray Jordan one highs, 150 as opposed to 180. And you can use coupons or discounts, always good. And then we got the Jordan 3 Midnight Navy here. So we got both of them right here. Which one are you guys liking more? The Fear Jordan 3s, not a bad color combination. Some good material on here too. I definitely think I like the materials more on the Jordan 3 Midnight Navy, but I like the color combination on the Fear. I mean, I like the color combination on the on the Midnight Navies as well, too. Don't get me wrong. Um, they should have maybe made these leather like that. Might have had a better response to it. And, of course, we, we all wish they had the Nike Air on the back, too. But of these two colorways, which one do you guys like more? Let's go check out Shoe Palace. So they do have some basketball shoes here. This is that one location that still has the Air Max Penny 1s here size eight i think they have some other sizes available too why don't they mark these down on sale i'll scoop this up and sell it to one of my members or something like that you know what i mean once these go on sale they've been here long enough i wonder what's taking so long with these air max 21. these 99 bucks here at this location too so that's good to see shoe pals across the board for the most part, uh, here in Glendale, Hattie for 99 bucks. Air Max 90s, give me Raider colorways or Raider vibes. What do you guys think about those? Full retail 170. Red and white or maroon and white, 1906. Not a bad colorway, 155 on the retail. Look very comfortable, I'm not gonna lie. They got this blue one. These look like some uh, <laughs> Marvel or some you know action character type shoe. Still not bad though, 1906. And this is a colorway I have yet to see of the 1906. Very comfortable shoe, so I've been told. 175 on the retail is not the best. This 1906 in this gray colorway is pretty smooth too. 160 on the retail for these. A lot of Jordans. Some on sale, some full retail. We got Dub Zero for 49 bucks. Jordan 1 Low OGs for 99. Same thing with the Jordan 11 IE. Definitely got some retros here on sale and got some of the latest releases, so that's always a good thing to see. Let me know if there's something here that you guys will scoop up. Classic colorway of the Dub Zero, 49 bucks in the retail. I think these are like normally 160, 175. One of the best colorways of the Dub Zeros. Only 49 bucks. This Dub Zero, 79 bucks. Jordan 11 Low Comfort, 49 bucks on these. As I mentioned, Jordan 1 Low, Varsity Red OG, 99 bucks as opposed to 150. It's crazy, they've been having this here for a very long time. Size 12 on these, still full retail at 200 bucks. I guess they haven't got the okay to drop the price. I feel like when they drop the price, these are gonna be like 79, 89 bucks, cause they've had these for a long time. I'd scoop up the size 12 if it was that, if it was that low. Jordan 5 Green Beans, Jordan 3s, Jordan 12 Wheats. 
And if I thought I was gonna get out of here without seeing this in this store, I'm wrong about that. Jordan 11 Gratitude. Did you guys pick these up? You waiting for them to be returned or hit an outlet? Let me know your vibes or your thoughts on these. I throw these a lot because they're just dope. The Air Max 90 Corduroy, still for retail 139. This Air Max 90 is a pretty solid colorway also for the ladies. And we recently seen these for the first time. What do you guys think about this color combination? Definitely on point. Cell, white, gray, green, still 179 on these. Definitely one of the most, what is it disappointing or sleeper? Let me know what you guys think. Is this better than people thought or was this a bad idea? Initially, I thought this was a good idea, but the masses didn't think so. That gold, I guess, throws this off. I still think this is a dope colorway. Let me know what you guys think about these threes. And then comparing the two threes for the ladies this year, let me know what you guys think about these, man. I truly think these are some fire Jordan 3s. If they came out of men's sizes, I feel like people would have scooped them up. These for 89 or 69 bucks is actually a steal. This is definitely one of the better colorways of the Job 1. Let me know your top three Job 1 colorways in the comments below. So here's the Anthony Edwards section right here. Let me know what you guys think about these, man. Definitely a clean colorway, kind of different, not my favorite. I'm pretty sure they're gonna have some better colorways that drop. I wonder what his all-star sneak is gonna look like. 120 on the retail. You purchase them, mm -hmm. they do give you a free shirt. Oh, dope, okay. And, okay. Um, so we just left Foot Locker. Same selection as we've seen everywhere else. And I definitely told you guys I was gonna scoop this up. It actually came with a shirt, which I'll show you guys a little bit later, but of course, you guys know on the channel we've been talking about this shoe right here. Whoa. See the box, that AE. Let me pull it out just really quick. You guys already saw it in the video. But it's dope that these come with an actual shirt, give you some memorabilia to go with it. You know what I mean? Found these in a size 13. They look like boats, I'm pretty sure. Not heavy though, even though they are size 13, definitely not heavy yet. Let me know what you guys think about these. They look very futuristic. Remind me of the Harden Volume 7, as I said before. And that actually the Harden Volume 8. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and try these on, check these out, do a full review, so stay tuned to that. But if you're a fan of the Anthony Edwards, uh, what, what are these called? Believe, make them believe, or believe it, believe that. Is that what the name of these are called? Let me know in the comments below. I, don't, I can't remember the top. I can't remember the name off the top of my head right now. But we will go ahead and do a review, so stay tuned for that. Make sure you guys hit the like button. Oh, and one thing that I thought was dope too, which I did not know at first, I did not know this. But they actually come with an extra set of laces. Yeah, they actually come with an extra set of laces too. And I think for the most part, I will put the alternative laces as opposed to the regular ones. And I'll do a review on that as well so you guys can see what it looks like for yourself. But let me put these away. I'll see you guys in the next or later. Let's go ahead and check out some more shoes in this mall. You know what I mean? Cook it, cut it, measure it, bag it, sell it. Cook it, cut it, measure it, measure it, crack. Cook it, cut it, measure it. What's good, YouTube? Your boy Bosco back again here at the East LA outlet. Got to be very low key when recording here. They don't really like it here, but I'm going to try to do what I can to get the content for y'all. If you like what you see, hit the like button, share the video, and don't forget to subscribe. So now we're inside. We're about to go ahead and check out the back wall. It is 30% off at this location. I do see some Jordan Retros in the tuck, so let's get to it. John Morant's full-size run. Still full retail, though. Don't know if there's an additional discount on those. LeBron Witness 8s. Two colorways, 89 bucks as opposed to 105 These are still cheaper in the stores, man. We've been finding these for like 139 They got them here for 159 as opposed to $200. Pretty good size run on them, though. You know what I'm saying? The air trainers here, 59 bucks with 30% off makes these $41, bro. That's pretty dope. Size 13 on that too. Not a colorway that I'm really interested in myself though. You got some uh, Jordan 1s, really pretty clean. Mark down the 104 with the 30% off on these as well. You got some Jordan Palomino mids down to 84 bucks, brand new, size 14 with 30% off on them as well. What else do we have on over here? Oh, this is a new colorway of the Flight BB. Size 13. 
84 bucks with 30% off on these. Makes these around 60 something dollars. Color other Prestos that I have yet to see before. These are pretty solid. Let me know what you guys think about these. Refurbished, 83 dollars on the, on the um, refurbished Nike Presto. I like the colorway and materials on this Jordan 1 Low was definitely on point. They got a few of these here, 84 bucks on a size 11. Makes these around 60 something dollars as well. This is def oh, oh, definitely a slept on colorway for the Jordan 1 Lows. Everything's sitting right now, so you can't be surprised. But these are definitely clean right here. Retail is 109. 109 on these. Jordan 1 Low IEs are these cheaper than the retail stores? 185 with 30% off on those. Then we do have another retro here, Jordan 7. Jordan 7s, these are Chamberets, down to 144 with the 30% off on this retail price point. Definitely solid. There are more tempos. That colorway is kind of unique. 170 though, still full retail. Take 30% off the 170 price point. We have we got some dunk lows down here too. Retro premium 120 with 30% off. Okay, we do have something we haven't seen in a while at the stores, man. The Brotherhood Jordan 1s. Size 12 on those, 105. Making these around 60 something or 70 something bucks. 70 bucks for these, is that a good price point? Is that something that will make you scoop these up now? Moave colorway. Now we've seen these at JD Sports for like 150. They got them here still full retail, 180, but you got that 30% off the retail tag. So that's actually a good price point right there on that. Wow, Jordan 1 highs. We got some more Jordan 1 lows right there. The penguins. These are the penguins, right? 129 in the retail. I think this colorway is one of the better ones that did come out. These Air Max ones are fire. Are these not penguins? These are just regular Air Max ones. Same with these. These are colorways that I haven't seen. Are these like by use? These must be. Cause these are dope 89 bucks on these this color combination is fire yeah these must be some value colorways because i've never seen those before but the quality on them is definitely on point i think i like the other colorway maybe slightly more but i like the materials on these for sure for sure bro more vegeta tans air max 97s normal retail is like 175 they got them in store for 120 they got them here for 99 bucks with 30 percent off Jordan 1 Brotherhoods again, size 12 on that. Air Max 1 Big Bubble, another colorway I haven't seen, down to 109 with a 30% off on those. Zoom Freak 5s, men's sizes for 99 on those with 30% off. That's still too high on the retail. They should mark them down because ain't nobody buying those, bro. Let's see what's over here. We got another pair of the Jordan 2 Low. Oh, what about these? Okay, we got Jordan 2 Lows right here, which is what I was just talking about, 104. Recent colorway, Jordan 6s, still $200 though on the retail price point with the 30% off. Definitely like to see these a little cheaper, but they still are dope. Um, hopefully I can find these at one point in my size for cheaper. This right here is a size 11. A size 11 on this Jordan 6 right here, the grape colorway, or not grape, but uh, aqua colorway. Size 10 and a half, so definitely not my size too small for your boy a lot of those jordan sevens here another one another one we already seen like two or three same thing with the brotherhoods here we got the lebron nine low reverse liverpools size 10 for 129 with a 30 percent off makes these about 90 dollars the jordan six low golf very fire colorway 154 on these Oh, we got some more of the Mac Attacks, 140. Haven't seen this colorway yet, 140 with a 30% off on these. This gray colorway is actually pretty fire. Suede, some satin on here. Color combination is dope. Got the satin, got the suede, the mesh on the upper. Definitely clean. Let me know what you guys think about these. 30% off. Haven't seen this colorway before. Once again, Brotherhood's Cham Rays. And then we got these here, 30% off. So, man, even the outlets is having a pretty good selection of these Jordan 1 Royal Toes, bro. Which is uh, not a disappointment, but it's something we expected. Just weird to see. This is such a dope colorway that had a lot of hype earlier in the year. And last year especially. Mm -hmm. 
triple black Vermeer fives. Don't recall seeing these. Normally 160 down to 119. Take that 30% off on these. Makes these about 83 bucks. Definitely a good price on the Vermeer fives. Triple black colorway too. KD 16s. This must be a Bayou colorway because I've never seen this KD 16 before. Got the Oreo sparkles. Is this a Bayou or is this a normal colorway? If you guys know, let me know in the comments below. Triple or black outsole, rubber black outsole. Most of the KD 16s got the uh, translucent outsole. That's what makes me think this could be a Bayou. But if you've seen this colorway before, please let me know in the comments below. Vegeta tan colorway, bunch of those here. And then we got the Calyx. What size is this though? Size six Y, six, oh no, six and a half, down to 124 as opposed to the $200 retail price point and you take 30% off. Then we got the Jordan 7s right here, 149 as opposed to 210 with a 30% off on those. A lot of retros here, posted up and available at this place. That's why I do like this location because it's low key. It just sucks that they be iffy on people recording. They even got the Fear 3s. This is definitely a new release, size 9.5. Full retail on this. Let me know what you guys think about these in the comments below. Did you guys miss on the Fear 3s? Or are you waiting for, for them to hit the outlets discounted 210 with 30% off? These are pretty solid, man. This colorway and the materials definitely clean on these. Still full retail at 125 though. Westbrook's, the why not one take, 79 bucks as opposed to 100. The new One of the new colorways of the Luca 2. This colorway solid. Still full retail though here. Never seen these before though. What's up with these Jordans? Oh, these are Rui Hachimura's. Never seen these in person. I know he had a couple of them in this 37. These are actually pretty dope. They got them here with the box but nothing on them. What do y'all think about these, man? These are pretty solid. Never seen them before, first time in hand. Give me your thoughts. Luca, Luca situation down to 84 bucks as opposed to 165 with an additional 30% off. Threes here as well, full size run, still full retail as well. Then we got the Palomino mids here, still full retail. Oh no, 94 bucks as opposed to 135. We got these dunks right here too, Laker color or LSU vibe. Normally 140 down to 89 with that additional 30% off. Now these are pretty clean. I like the colorway. Materials are nice. Shout out to Keith. I appreciate you and your support. Appreciate your support for Cool and Eyes channels. You know, shout out to you for that. These are 115 on the retail. Another colorway to dunk mid with the uh, canvas material on here. Pretty good selection of dunks here at the outlet. And they even have another one that we didn't talk about down to 99 bucks as opposed to 115. Blazers for 85. They got these also the Blazer Low acronyms down to 49 bucks like we saw at the last location. Sakai is this gray colorway, 79 bucks as opposed to 120. At the last outlet, I only saw the black and white ones. Here's the black colorway down to 59 bucks as opposed to 120 on these. And then we got these for 59 bucks as opposed to 120 as well. Air Flight 89, this gray colorway is actually not bad. Speckle midsole, 89 bucks as opposed to 135. They do got the satin bridge, bro. Jordan 1 satin bridge, 99 bucks. Kind of kind of weird to see these here. Oh, they got, a, got some sizes here too, bro. Nobody wants these, man. Definitely a fire shoe. How does this even happen, bro? How does this even happen? Satin bridge here, bro. Kind of crazy to see this. The way the Air Max one that I have yet to see, man. This must be a Bayou. Didn't know they had these on the Bayou, man. People doing a good job with these colorways on the Air Max ones. These elevates were pretty dope too. I like that color combination. We got Sabrina's over here too as well. Still full 130 for both of those with 30% off here. Nike Dunk Low, that black metallic with the uh, cell midsole, 130 on these or 30% off on these. Retail still 125. Another pair of the satin breads, wow. And then look at this. We got two pair of the Amamanieres, the black colorway. Three pair, another one right there. Four, what the fuck is going on here? Oh my 
on my year 12s here. Four pair of them posted up. These are definitely fire too. 30% off on that. Are y'all surprised to see this? Or am I the one that's tripping? Am I the one that's bugging out for being surprised about this being 30% off or what? Satin breads and I'm on my years. Definitely kind of surprised to see these guys here. But then again, maybe not. And they're both 30% off. Those for the women. Jordan 2's here. This colorway is not bad. Still full retail, 175 on a size 9. Then we got some Air Max 1's down here that I've seen before. Definitely a fire colorway on these. I forgot what these are about. I don't know if these are Chinese New Year's or not. Let me know. Air Max 187 PRM. Still full retail of 160 with 30% off on these. And I thought it was just going to be the black pair, but they have the white pair here too. Very clean shoe, bro. Still here. Still priced at full retail, 225 but you can take 25% off. Or, excuse me, not 25%. 30% off of both of these. Jordan 1 Low, OG. Women's. UNC to Chicago, size 8, still full retail 140, but you already know what we're doing here, 30% off. I'm not surprised, I guess, right? You know, but uh, these are definitely on point. Jordan 6 Gore Texas on sale here already. Not surprised, it is a one-off, still full retail on a size 7.5 for the ladies. 30% off on the Gore-Tex, man. We can't be surprised, bro. Size 5 on the women's Jordan 3 Lucky Green. Still full retail, though, of $200. I was curious if I would see these here. Jordan 4s. 3.5 wide or smaller size, but they still have them here. As well as another pair of the Royal Reimagines. Good to see these at the outlet, though. Women, they got the reverse leanies. Normally $180 down to $129. Don't think you have the 30% off on these, but they do have them available. And as you can see, it's a pretty good size run of them too. So 129 as opposed to 180. They also got these here. These Jordan 3's been around for a minute. 160 as opposed to 200. And then they got a, a size run of these for 180 still. We saw these at the last outlet, Citadel, but it was like a one-off. They got a full size run here at East LA. Jordan selection here, definitely on point. Nine bucks on the uh, pink corduroy ones as opposed to the 160 with a full size run of them, also. Man, a lot of things here got a good size run of them. Air Max 90 still 140, 79 bucks as opposed to 175. Look at the amount that they have available here, too. It's definitely for a triple white size 80 or 80 dollars is not bad. Materials on these are dope, only 70 bucks, normally 105. Materials on these air spans are clean, bro. This is definitely a low-key shoe slept on, 69 bucks only. And then this pair, also, materials look really good on this one. They got it here for 59 bucks, or 39 bucks for 115. I'm all over the place because I'm looking around while I'm talking about the prices. I don't want them to come and tell me to get out of here even though I'm almost done. $80 as opposed to 130. Remember seeing these online when they were supposed to be dropping. Definitely a clean colorway. Can't go wrong, wrong with that classic outsole. Flight 89 for 80 bucks. 21 down to 80 bucks for 160. This color combination is not too bad on those. That air bubble looks like it might be pretty comfortable. You know what I'm saying? Pretty good size on those. A Jordan collab on sale. Or Air Force One Nike collab. Billy Eilish Air Force Ones. These are only 90 bucks as opposed to the 180 price point. And it's out still full retail for 110. I did I, I did see people did have a little cool response to these. Some people did like these with all the straps along with the laces. Let me know what you guys think about these and the Billy Eilish Air Force Ones. Down to 90 bucks as opposed to 180. Hey, yo, bro, who y'all think got the best handles, yo? Man, Kyrie off tops. Hold on, better than Jamal Crawford? What? He 